my older brother had the Golden Book of Astronomy, and I used to like to pull it out of his shelves and look at this, look at the pictures, do some of the reading. I mean, I was like seven years old. And I decided after doing that for like a year, it's like, you know, you keep coming back to this book. This is really interesting. Why don't you do this for a living? And saved my money and got a little rinky-dink telescope uh, made out of cardboard from uh, Gilbert and started looking at stuff through my bedroom window. And I would look at the moon and look at planets and the Orion Nebula and I would sketch stuff in a notebook. And, and my mother, although we weren't well off, she never said no to a book, ever. And so I had a little library of astronomy books which I read all the time. And so I just always wanted to be an astronomer. This is my 40th year of teaching here and I am not bored. So I love to be in the classroom. I, I, I demand a great deal of my students. My courses are notoriously difficult as far as the tests go, but they're always full. And I think that's because we have a good time. I've, I've always enjoyed imparting knowledge to people, especially astronomy, because I like to watch people's mouths drop open. I like to dispel people's you know, feeling of, I've got it all together, I know everything I need to know. I've actually been asked and have written a book called uh, Starstruck with Steve Raby, my, my co-author, which goes into this, how can a Christian be an evangelical, a follower of Jesus, and also a practicing scientist? And it's not a problem. It really, really isn't. The more I discover about the universe, the more glory I give to God. You know, their God has it all under control. It's not an issue. There's no science and faith conflict here. You know, God is sustaining the universe that he created, and everything's under control and will come out great in the end. So we've just installed a, uh, an upgrade to our planetarium. It's a digital planetarium, a spit side dome and it's the highest resolution, brightest planetarium in a 20-foot dome in the world. We can go out into space, we can land on planets, we can make up worlds, ask hypothetical questions like, so what if the moon didn't rotate, what would that look like? Put up a moon that doesn't rotate and see for ourselves. So it's really pretty fantastic. The company uh, uses me as their consultant. I've written two volumes of curriculum for them, and I'm writing a third. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm writing curriculum. It's being used all over the world. My name is Dave Bradstreet, and I'm committed to reaching people for God through the teaching of astronomy and physics.